Section 1-7 Safety Information Correct Driving Posture Drive with a good posture as follows. 1. Sit upright and well back in the seat. 2. Adjust the position of the seat forward or backward to ensure the pedals can be reached and easily depressed to the extent required. See page 13. 3. Adjust the seat back so that the controls are easily operable. 4. Adjust the tilt and telescopic positions of the steering wheel downward so the airbag is facing your chest. See page 35. 5. Lock the head restraint in place with the center of the head restraint closest to the top of your ears. See page 26. And 6. Wear the seat belt correctly. See page 28. Caution. Caution while driving. Do not adjust the position of the driver's seat. Doing so could cause the driver to lose control of the vehicle. Do not place a cushion between the driver or passenger and the seat back. A cushion may prevent correct posture from being achieved, and reduce the effectiveness of the seat belt and head restraint, increasing the risk of death or serious injury to the driver or passenger. Do not place anything under the front seats. Objects placed under the front seats may become jammed in the seat tracks and stop the seat from locking in place. This may lead to an accident. The adjustment mechanism may also be damaged. Adjusting the seat position. Do not recline the seat more than necessary when the vehicle is in motion, to reduce the risk of sliding under the lap belt. If the seat is too reclined during an accident, the lap belt may slide past the hips and apply restraint forces directly to the abdomen or your neck may contact the shoulder belt, increasing the risk of death or serious injury. Take care when adjusting the seat position to ensure that other passengers are not injured by the moving seat. Do not put your hands under the seat or near the moving parts to avoid injury. Fingers or hands may become jammed in the seat mechanism. SRS airbags The SRS airbags inflate when the vehicle is subjected to certain types of severe impacts that may cause significant injury to the occupants. They work together with the seat belts to help reduce the risk of death or serious injury. Front airbags 1. Driver airbag Front passenger airbag can help protect the head and chest of the driver and front passenger from impact with interior components. Side and curtain shield airbags 2. Side airbag, can help protect the torso of the front occupants. And 3. Curtain shield airbag, can help protect primarily the head of front occupants and rear outboard occupants. Airbag system components 1. Front passenger airbag 2. Curtain shield airbag 3. Occupant Detection System, ECU and Sensors, 4, Airbag On and Airbag Off Indicator Light, 5, Side Airbag, 6, Curtain Shield Airbag Sensor, 7, SRS Warning Light and RCA Off Indicator Light, 8, Driver Airbag, 9, Side and Curtain Shield Airbag Sensor, 10, Driver's Seat Position Sensor, 11, Driver's Seat Belt Buckle Switch, 12, RCA off switch, 13, front passenger's seat belt buckle switch, 14, airbag sensor assembly, and 15, front airbag sensor. Your vehicle is equipped with advanced airbags designed based on US Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, FMVSS 208. The airbag system controls airbag deployment power for the driver and front passenger. The driver airbag system consists of the driver's seat position sensor etc. The front passenger's airbag system consists of the front passenger occupant classification sensor etc. The main SRS airbag system components are shown above. The SRS airbag system is controlled by the airbag sensor assembly. The airbag sensor assembly consists of a surfing sensor and an airbag sensor. In certain types of severe frontal or side impacts, the SRS airbag system triggers the airbag inflators. A chemical reaction in the inflators quickly fills the airbags with non-toxic gas to help restrain the motion of the occupants. If the SRS airbags deploy, inflate, bruising and slight abrasions may result from contact with a deploying, inflating. SRS airbag. A loud noise and white powder will be emitted. Parts of the airbag module, steering wheel hub, airbag cover and inflator, as well as the front seats, and parts of the front pillar and roof side rail, may be hot for several minutes. The airbag itself may also be hot. 
the windshield may crack. Operating conditions, front airbags. The SRS front airbags will deploy if the severity of the frontal impact is above the design threshold level, comparable to an approximate 15 miles per hour, 25 kilometers per hour collision when the vehicle impacts straight into a fixed barrier that does not move or deform. However, this threshold velocity will be considerably higher if the vehicle strikes an object, such as a parked vehicle or sign pole, which can move or deform on impact, or if the vehicle is involved in an underride collision, for example a collision in which the front of the vehicle underrides, or goes under, the bed of a truck, etc. It is possible that in some collisions where the forward deceleration of the vehicle is very close to the design threshold level, the SRS front airbags and the seat belt pretensioners may not activate together. The SRS front passenger airbag will not activate, if there is not passenger sitting in the front passenger seat. However, the front passenger airbag may deploy, if luggage is put in the seat or the seat belt is fastened, even if the seat is unoccupied. See page 69. Operating conditions, side and curtain shield airbags. The SRS side airbags and curtain shield airbags are designed to inflate when the passenger compartment is subjected to a severe impact from the side. The SRS side airbag on the passenger seat will not activate if there is no passenger sitting in the front passenger seat. However, the side airbag on the passenger seat may deploy, if luggage is put in the seat, even if the seat is unoccupied. See page 69. Conditions under which the SRS airbags may deploy, inflate, other than a collision. The SRS front airbags may also deploy if a serious impact occurs to the underside of your vehicle. Some examples are shown in the illustration. Hitting a curb, edge of pavement or hard surface. Falling into or jumping over a deep hole. Landing hard or vehicle falling. The SRS curtain shield airbags may also deploy under the situations shown in the illustration. The angle of vehicle tip-up is marginal. The vehicle skids and hits a curbstone. Types of collisions that may not deploy the SRS airbag, front airbags. The SRS front airbags are generally not designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a side or rear collision, if it rolls over, or if it is involved in a low-speed frontal collision. But, whenever a collision of any type causes sufficient forward deceleration of the vehicle, Deployment of the SRS front airbags may occur. Collision from the side. Collision from the rear. Vehicle rollover. Types of collisions that may not deploy the SRS airbag. Side and curtain shield airbags. The SRS side airbag and curtain shield airbag system may not activate if the vehicle is subjected to a collision from the side at certain angles, or a collision to the side of the vehicle body other than the passenger compartment. Collision from the side to the vehicle body other than the passenger compartment. Collision from the side at an angle. The SRS side airbags are not generally designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a frontal or rear collision, if it rolls over, or if it is involved in a low-speed side collision. Collision from the front. Collision from the rear. Vehicle rollover. The SRS curtain shield airbags are not generally designed to inflate if the vehicle is involved in a frontal or rear collision if it pitches and over, or if it is involved in a low-speed side collision. Collision from the front. Collision from the rear. Pitches and over end. When to contact your Lexus dealer. In the following cases, contact your Lexus dealer as soon as possible. Do not disconnect the battery cables before contacting your Lexus dealer. Any of the SRS airbags have been inflated. The front of the vehicle is damaged or deformed or was involved in an accident that was not severe enough to cause the SRS airbags to inflate. A portion of the doors is damaged or deformed, or the vehicle was involved in an accident that was not severe enough to cause the SRS side airbags and curtain shield airbags to inflate. The pad section of the steering wheel or front passenger airbag cover of the instrument panel is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. The surface of the seats with the side airbag is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. The portion of the front pillars, rear pillars or roof side rail garnishes, padding, containing the curtain shield airbags is scratched, cracked, or otherwise damaged. Caution. SRS airbag precautions. Observe the following precautions regarding the airbags. Failure to do so may cause death or serious injury. 
the driver and all passengers in the vehicle must wear their seat belts properly. The SRS airbags are supplemental devices to be used with the seat belts. The SRS driver airbag deploys with considerable force and can cause death or serious injury especially if the driver is very close to the airbag. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, advises since the risk zone for driver airbag is the first 2 to 3 inches 50 to 75 millimeters of inflation placing yourself 10 inches 250 millimeters from your driver airbag provides you with a clear margin of safety this distance is measured from the center of the steering wheel to your breastbone if you sit less than 10 inches 250 millimeters away now you can change your driving position in several ways Move your seat to the rear as far as you can while still reaching the pedals comfortably. Slightly recline the back of the seat. Although vehicle designs vary, many drivers can achieve the 10 inches, 250 millimeters, distance, even with the driver's seat all the way forward, simply by reclining the back of the seat somewhat. If reclining the back of your seat makes it hard to see the road, raise yourself by using a firm, non-slippery cushion or raise the seat of your vehicle has that feature. If your steering wheel is adjustable, tilt it downward. This points the airbag toward your chest instead of your head and neck. The seat should be adjusted as recommended by NHTS or above, while still maintaining control of the foot pedals, steering wheel, and your view of the instrument panel controls. If the seat belt extender has been connected to the driver's seat belt buckle but the seat belt extender has not also been fastened to the latch plate of the driver's seat belt, the SRS driver's airbag system will judge that the driver is wearing the seat belt even though the seat belt has not been connected. In this case, the driver's airbag may not activate correctly in a collision, resulting in death or serious injury in the event of collision. Be sure to wear the seat belt with the seat belt extender. The SRS front passenger airbag also deploys with considerable force, and can cause death or serious injury especially if the front passenger is very close to the airbag. The front passenger seat should be as far from the airbag as possible with the seat back adjusted so the front passenger sits upright. Improperly seated and or restrained infants and children can be killed or seriously injured by a deploying airbag. An infant or child who is too small to use a seat belt should be properly secured using a child restraint system. Lexus strongly recommends that all infants and children be placed in the rear seats of the vehicle and properly restrained. The rear seats are the safest for infants and children. See page 74. Do not sit on the edge of the seat or lean against the dashboard. Do not allow a child to sit on the knees of a front passenger while the vehicle is moving. Do not drive the vehicle while the driver or passenger have items resting on their knees. Do not lean against the door, the roof side rail or the front, side and rear pillars. Do not allow anyone to kneel on the passenger seat toward the door or put their head or hands outside the vehicle. Do not attach anything to or lean anything against areas such as the dashboard or steering wheel pad of the instrument panel. These items can become projectiles when the SRS driver and front passenger airbags deploy. Do not attach anything to areas such as the door, windshield glass, side door glass, front and rear pillars, roof side rail or assist grip. Do not hang coat hangers or other hard objects on the coat hooks. All of these items could become projectiles and seriously injure or kill you, should the SRS curtain shield airbag deploy. Do not use seat accessories which cover the parts where the SRS side airbags inflate as they may interfere with inflation of the airbags. Do not strike or apply significant levels of force to the area of the SRS airbag components shown on page 57. Doing so can cause the SRS airbags to malfunction. Do not touch any of the component parts immediately after the SRS airbags have deployed, inflated, as they may be hot. If breathing becomes difficult after the SRS airbag has deployed, open a door or window to allow fresh air in or leave the vehicle if it is safe to do so. Wash off any residue as soon as possible to prevent skin irritation. If the areas where the SRS airbags are stored, such as the steering wheel pad and front pillar garnish, are damaged or cracked, have them replaced by your Lexus dealer. 
modification and disposal of SRS airbag system components. Do not dispose of your vehicle or perform any of the following modifications without consulting your Lexus dealer. The SRS airbag may malfunction or deploy, inflate, accidentally, causing death or serious injury. Installation, removal, disassembly and repair of the SRS airbags. Repairs, modifications, removal or replacement of the steering wheel, instrument panel, dashboard, seats or seat upholstery, front side and rear pillars or roof side rail. Repairs or modifications of the front fender, front bumper, or side of the occupant compartment. Installation of snow plows, winches, etc. to the front grille, bull bars, kangaroo bar etc. Modifications to the vehicle's suspension system. Installation of electronic devices such as mobile two-way radios or CD players. Modifications to your vehicle for a person with a physical disability. Deactivating the curtain shield airbags in a vehicle rollover, on slash off, hold for a few seconds, the RSCA off indicator light turns on, only when the ignition switch is in the on position, the switch only should be used in a situation where inflation is not desired, such as during extreme off-road driving. Operating conditions when the RSCA off indicator is on. The curtain shield airbag and seat belt pretensioner will not activate in a vehicle rollover. The curtain shield airbag will activate in a severe side impact. Caution. For normal driving. Make sure the RCA off indicator light is not turned on. If it is left on, the curtain shield airbag will not activate in the event of an accident, which may result in death or serious injury. Front Passenger Occupant Classification System. Your vehicle is equipped with a front passenger occupant classification system. This system detects the conditions of the front passenger seat and activates or deactivates the devices for front passenger. 1. SRS warning light. 2. Front passenger seat belt reminder light. 3. Airbag off indicator light. And 4. Airbag on indicator light. Condition and operation in the front passenger occupant classification system. Adult indicator slash warning light. Airbag on and airbag off indicator lights. Airbag on. SRS warning light. Off. Front passenger's seat belt reminder light. Flashing. Devices. Front passenger airbag. Side airbag in the front passenger seat. Curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side. Front passenger seat belt pretensioner. Activated. Child or child restraint system. Indicator. Warning light. Airbag on and airbag off indicator lights. Airbag off. SRS warning light. Off. Front passenger seat belt reminder light. Flashing. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, activated, unoccupied, indicator, warning light, airbag on and airbag off indicator lights, not illuminated, SRS warning light, front passenger seat belt reminder light, off. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, activated, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, deactivated, system malfunction, indicator, warning light, airbag on and airbag off indicator lights, airbag off, SRS warning light, on, front passenger seat belt reminder light, off. Devices, front passenger airbag, side airbag in the front passenger seat, deactivated, curtain shield airbag on the front passenger side, front passenger seat belt pretensioner, activated, the system judges a person of adult size as an adult, when a smaller adult sits in the front passenger seat, the system may recognize him, her as a child depending on his, her physique and posture. In the event the front passenger does not wear a seat belt. When a large child who has outgrown a child restraint system sits in the front passenger seat, the system may recognize him, her as an adult depending on his, her physique and posture. Never install a rear-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat.
a forward-facing child restraint system should only be installed on the front passenger seat when it is unavoidable. See page 77. In case indicator is not illuminated, consult this manual as for installing the child restraint system properly. See page 74. Caution. Front passenger occupant classification system precautions. Observe the following precautions regarding the front passenger occupant classification system. Wear the seat belt properly. Make sure the front passenger's seat belt tab has not been left inserted into the buckle before someone sits in the front passenger seat. Make sure the airbag off indicator light is not illuminated when using the seat belt extender for the front passenger seat. If the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, disconnect the extender tongue from the seat belt buckle, then reconnect the seat belt. Reconnect the seat belt extender after making sure the airbag on indicator light is illuminated. If you use the seat belt extender while the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, the front passenger airbag and side airbag on the front passenger side may not activate correctly, which could cause death or serious injury in the event of a collision. Do not apply a heavy load to the front passenger seat or equipment. For example arm rest. Do not put weight on the front passenger seat by putting your hands or feet on the front passenger seat seat back from the second seat. Do not let a second seat passenger lift the front passenger seat with their feet or press on the seat back with their legs. Do not put objects under the front passenger seat. Do not recline the front passenger seat back so far that it touches a rear seat. This may cause the airbag off indicator light to be illuminated which indicates that the passenger's airbags will not deploy in the event of a severe accident. If the seat back touches the rear seat, return the seat back to a position where it does not touch the rear seat. Keep the front passenger seat back as upright as possible when the vehicle is moving. Reclining the seat back excessively may lessen the effectiveness of the seat belt system. If an adult sits in the front passenger seat, the airbag on indicator light is illuminated. If the airbag off indicator is illuminated, ask the passenger to sit up straight, well back in the seat, feet on the floor, and with the seat belt worn correctly. If the airbag off indicator still remain illuminated, either ask the passenger to move to the rear seat, or if that is not possible, move the front passenger seat fully rearward. When it is unavoidable to install a forward-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat, install the child restraint system on the front passenger seat in the proper order. See page 77. Do not remove the front seat. Do not kick the front passenger seat or subject it to severe impact. Otherwise, the SRS warning light may come on to indicate a malfunction in the detection system. In this case, contact your Lexus dealer immediately. Do not use a seat accessory, such as a cushion or seat cover, that covers the seat cushion surface. Child restraint systems installed on the second seat should not contact the front seat backs. Child restraint systems. A child restraint system for a small child or baby must itself be properly restrained on the seat with the lap portion of the lap, shoulder belt. The laws of all 50 states of the USA and Canada now require the use of child restraint systems. Points to remember. Studies have shown that installing a child restraint on a rear seat is much safer than installing one to the front passenger seat. Choose a child restraint system appropriate to the age and size of the child. For installation details, follow the instructions provided with the child restraint system. General installation instructions are provided in this manual. See page 77. Types of child restraints. Child restraint systems are classified into the following three types according to the age and size of the child. Infant seat, convertible seat, and booster seat. When the child restraint system is not in use, leave the child restraint system properly secured on the seat. Do not store the restraint loosely on a passenger seat or in the luggage compartment. Selecting an appropriate child restraint system. Get an appropriate child restraint system for the child. If a child is too large for a child restraint system, Sit the child on a rear seat and use the vehicle's seat belt. See page 28. Caution. Child restraint precautions. 
For effective protection in automobile accidents and sudden stops, a child must be properly restrained, using a seat belt or child restraint system depending on the age and size of the child. Holding a child in your arms is not a substitute for a child restraint system. In an accident, the child can be crushed against the windshield or between you and the vehicle's interior. Lexus strongly urges the use of a proper child restraint system that conforms to the size of the child, installed on the rear seat. According to accident statistics, the child is safer when properly restrained in the rear seat than in the front seat. Never install a rear-facing child restraint system on the front passenger seat even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated. In the event of an accident, the force of the rapid inflation of the front passenger airbag can cause death or serious injury to the child if the rear-facing child restraint system is installed on the front passenger seat. A forward-facing child restraint system should allow it to be installed on the front passenger seat only when it is unavoidable. Always move the seat as far back as possible even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated, because the front passenger airbag could inflate with considerable speed and force. Otherwise, the child may be killed or seriously injured. Do not use the seat belt extender when installing a child restraint system on the front or rear passenger seat. If installing a child restraint system with a seat belt extender connected to the seat belt, the seat belt will not securely hold the child restraint system, which could cause death or serious injury to the child or other passengers in the event of collision. Do not allow the child to lean his, her head or any part of his, her body against the door or the area of the seat front pillar or roof side rail from which the side airbags or curtain shield airbags deploy even if the child is seated in the child restraint system. It is dangerous if the side airbags and curtain shield airbags inflate, and the impact could cause death or serious injury to the child. Make sure you have complied with all installation instructions provided by the child restrained manufacturer and that the system is properly secured. If it is not secured properly, it may cause death or serious injury to the child in the event of a sudden stop or accident. Installing child restraints Follow the child restraint system manufacturer's instructions. Firmly secure child restraint using the seat belt. If using the lower anchorages, use the top strap as well. And be sure to secure both firmly. 1. Seat belts equipped with a child restraint locking mechanism. ALR slash ELR belts except driver's seat belt see page 31. 2. Child restraint lower anchorages. Lower anchorages are provided for the right side seat and between the center and left side seats. Buttons displaying the location of the anchorages are attached to the seats. And 3. Anchor bracket, for top strap. Anchor brackets are provided for all second seats. Installing child restraints using a seat belt, child restraint lock function belt. Rear facing child seat infant convertible. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the rear seat facing the rear of the vehicle. Step 2. Run the seat belt through the infant seat and insert the plate into the buckle. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Step 3. Fully extend the shoulder belt and then allow it to retract slightly in order to activate the ALR lock mode. Lock mode allows the seat belt to retract only. And step 4. While pushing the child's seat down into the seat, Allow the shoulder belt to retract until the child's seat is securely in place. After the shoulder belt is retracted to a point where there is no slack in the belt, pull the belt to check that it cannot be extended. Forward facing convertible child seat. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the seat facing the front of the vehicle. Step 2. Run the seat belt through the child's seat and insert the plate into the buckle. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Step 3. Fully extend the shoulder strap and then allow it to retract slightly into the ALR lock mode. Lock mode allows the seat belt to retract only. And step 4. While pushing the child's seat into the seat, allow the shoulder belt to retract until the child's seat is securely in place. After the shoulder belt is retracted to a point where there is no slack in the belt, pull the belt to check that it cannot be extended. Booster seat. Step 1. Place the child's seat on the seat facing the front of the vehicle. And step 2. Sit the child in the child's seat. Fit the seat belt to the child's seat according to the manufacturer's instructions and insert the plate into the buckle. 
Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Check that the shoulder belt is correctly positioned over the child's shoulder, and that the lap belt is as low as possible. See page 28. Removing a child restraint installed with a seat belt. Push the buckle release button and fully retract the seat belt. Installation with child restraint lower anchorages. Fold the seat back forward and then back to the first lock position, most upright position, until it locks into place. Adjust the seat back to the fifth lock position. 1. First lock position, and 2. Fifth lock position. Type A. Step 1. Widen the gap between the seat cushion and seat back slightly. And step 2. Latch the hooks of the lower straps onto the anchorages. If the child restraint has a top strap, the top strap should be latched onto the anchorage. For owners in Canada, the symbol on a child restraint system indicates the presence of a lower anchorage system. Type B. Step 1. Widen the gap between the seat cushion and seat back slightly. And step 2. Latch the buckles onto the anchorages. If the child restraint has a top strap, the top strap should be latched onto the anchorage. For owners in Canada, the symbol on a child restraint system indicates the presence of a lower anchorage system. Child restraint systems with a top strap. Step 1. Secure child restraint using a seat belt or lower anchors and remove the head restraint. Step 2. Open the anchor bracket cover, latch the hook onto the anchor bracket and tighten the top strap. Make sure the top strap is securely latched. And Step 3. Reinstall the head restraint. Laws and regulations pertaining to anchorages. Anchorages conform to FMVSS 225 or CMVSS 210.2. Child restraint systems conforming to FMVSS 213 or CMVSS 213 specifications can be used. This vehicle is designed to conform to the SAEJ 1819. Caution. When installing a booster seat. Do not fully extend the shoulder belt to prevent the belt from going to ALR lock mode. See page 31. ALR mode causes the belt to tighten only which could cause injury or discomfort to the child. Do not allow the child to play with the seat belt or the child could be killed or serious injured. When installing a child restraint system, follow the directions given in the child restraint system installation manual and fix the child restraint system securely in place. If the child restraint system is not correctly fixed in place, the child may be injured or even killed in the event of sudden breaking or an accident. If the driver's seat interferes with the child restraint system and prevents it from being attached correctly, attach the child restraint system to the right-hand rear seat. Only put a forward-facing or boost a child seat on the front seat when unavoidable. When installing a forward-facing or boost a child restraint on the front passenger seat, move the seat as far back as possible even if the airbag off indicator light is illuminated. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury if the airbags deploy, inflate. When installing a child restraint system in the third center position, set the both seat backs to the same angle. Otherwise. The child restraint system cannot be properly secured. When a booster seat is installed, always ensure that the shoulder belt is positioned across the center of the child's shoulder. The belt should be kept away from the child's neck, but not so that it could fall off the child's shoulder. Failing to do so may result in death or serious injury in the event of an accident or sudden breaking. Ensure the belt and dab are securely locked and that the seat belt is not twisted. Push and pull the child's seat in different directions to be sure it is secure. Follow all installation instructions provided by the child restraint system manufacturer. Do not use a seat belt extender. If a seat belt extender is used when installing a child restraint system, the seat belt will not securely hold the child restraint system, which could cause death or serious injury to the child or other passengers in the event of a collision. To correctly attach a child restraint system to the anchorages, when using the lower anchorages, be sure that there are no foreign objects around the anchorages and that the seat belt is not caught behind the child's seat. Make sure the child restraint system is securely attached, or it may cause death or serious injury to the child in the event of a sudden stop or accident. When using the left side lower anchorages for the child restraint system, do not sit in the center seat. Seat belt function may be impaired, such as being positioned overly high or loose fitting.
which may result in death or serious injury in the event of a collision.